Hey friends, it is Friday night. Thought I'd start my weekend vlog right now. Show you what's going on. We're supposed to get some pretty heavy duty weather here in Jersey. Um, decent amount of snow. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, it's starting. And because we're supposed to get so much, we decided to put a temporary cover over the run of the chicken coop. Just a tarp, just to try to keep most of the snow out of their run area. Now there is hardwire cloth on the top, so it's not, and, and joists and everything. So it's not gonna cave in, the tarp won't cave in. There's support there. You know, part of their run is covered, part is not. But we decided with this much snow, we're gonna just cover the top just so they don't have to walk in too much snow. Um, chickens don't mind the cold. They actually do better in the cold than they do in the heat. So, yeah, but they're my girls and, you know, they're a little bougie, so. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna turn you around. I'm gonna show you what Doug's doing and show you the snow coming down. It wasn't supposed to start till seven, so we are a little bit early. See, we just put the tarp just right over the top just to try to keep a little bit of the snow out of the run if we get as much as they say that we're going to do. So we'll see. Um, I think we're also going to put a little bit along a tarp along the bottom here too, just to keep it from going out. It's pretty shielded on all the other sides. There'll be plenty of ventilation because we're not going to do anything over here. So it'll all be good, we hope. Since I've started vlogging my weekend already, I might as well show you my dinner. What I have here is a three ounce pork chop with some mesquite marinade, and I just grilled it on my cast iron grill pan in the house. That is three points. I have uh, mixed veggies. I believe they are one point. And then I have five ounces of sweet potato with a little bit of brown sugar and cinnamon on it. And that is zero points on my plan. So there is a very, very simple dinner tonight. It is 8.33 and <laughs> the snow is definitely coming down. There's probably already two inches. two inches. I don't know, they say eight to 12. I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, it is late because we both fell asleep on the couch. This is what's going on outside. And it is still snowing like crazy. You just can't tell. So we are heading to bed and we'll see what tomorrow morning brings. Well, friends, this is it so far and it's still coming down. It's supposed to snow pretty much all day today. It's kind of drifty, as you can see, so I'm not quite sure yet how much we got. I'm heading out now to check on the girls. <laughs> coming out. Come on, babies! Okay. Hello. Girls, come on out. Girls. Hey, girls. Come on, girls. You want to come out? <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Come on. Hi, Jenny, come on out. It's okay. You're nice and warm in your coop. Okay. There's only a little dusting, but they refuse to come out of the coop, which is fine. They can stay in there. They'll, when they get hungry and thirsty, they'll come out. But Doug is kind of trying to just shovel the little dusting. So our tarps and stuff pretty much worked. I mean, you know, it's still gonna blow in, but there's not six inches like there is in the backyard, so. I threw a handful of food right at the entranceway and a little bit on the ramp to see if that would entice them to come out. But you know what, they know what they need. If they want food and water, they know where it is. 
If they want to stay nice and cozy in there, they can do that too. Well, maybe the girls are smarter than I give them credit for. They are not coming out of the coop. Nope. <laughs> so we'll check on them later, make sure they're doing okay. They still refuse to come out of the coop, so there's not a whole lot I can do about it. So I came in and I am getting breakfast ready. We are having, we have bacon every Saturday morning, but instead of bacon this morning, we're having turkey apple sausage. So I'm cooking that right now. We're gonna have some kind of eggs with it and uh, sourdough English muffins. And while we're doing, while we're waiting for all that to cook, Doug is working on schoolwork, reading, getting reading done for Tuesday night's class. And I am going through, I have the annual light, Taste of Home Light and Tasty annual recipes. Um, I have all the ones that they've made. I am going through those page by page and writing down on note paper recipes that I would like to try, recipes that look interesting to me, things like that. And I'm just gonna keep the, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at you. I'm working on my sausage. Um, just keep that in the back of my meal planner. And then, you know, when I'm doing my meal planning, I can look back there and see what looks good. So I found a couple things that look good. I found a really interesting buttermilk ranch recipe that uses cottage cheese. So I think I wanna give that a try. The ranch I have in the fridge now, there's only like this much left. I just have to make sure I have, it takes two cups of cottage cheese, I think. I have to make sure I have enough because I um, have to make egg bites for breakfast this week. I think that only takes three quarters of a cup, so I might be fine. So I want definitely want to give that a try. Um, hoping to get some filming done today to put up later in the week. I've had a ton of requests for my bread, my sandwich bread, which... I promise I am working on, I'm, I'm trying to nail down the recipe because I switched it up a little from the original. So I'm just trying to nail it down and make sure it is perfect before I share it. And um, also my dinner rolls. Everybody wants the dinner rolls. And that was just one I found on Pinterest and then I tweaked. So I'm hoping to get all that filmed so that, that can go up over the next couple days. Um, the great thing about those dinner rolls is you can make them three different sizes. I mean, well, you can make them any size you want. I do three different sizes with the same recipe. If I want to make burger buns or sandwich buns, I divide them into 12. So they're bigger and they're five points each that way, which for a good bun, I'm okay with. I mean, I use the Aldi brioche buns and they're six points. And what I do to reduce the points, I weigh them. And um, I ripped some of the middle out because I want room for all the good stuff inside too. But anyway, um, and then if you do them into 18, they are, I think, four points each and you get like a hearty dinner roll. If you do them into 24, they're two points, three points, three points, two points, two points, I think. And you get a petite dinner roll, which is really nice, like with a bowl of soup or something like that. So... It's very versatile, and the great thing about it is they freeze beautifully before you cook them. I shape them, put them on a cookie sheet, and get them right in the freezer before they have any time chance to rise at all. Freeze them like that, and then when I go to cook them, I pull them out, put them in the pan, let them thaw and rise for a few hours, and then I'm able to bake them, and they're beautiful. So they're really versatile, so I definitely want to get that filmed for you guys. Um, so yeah, and definitely my, my, um, English muffins, but not, I used to make regular English muffins before I started with sourdough. So I think I might make a batch of regular, not sourdough because not everybody keeps sourdough, but everybody can just make regular English muffins. So I don't know. Lots of stuff going on in the head. Just got to make time to do it and all that stuff. So. 
I'm gonna go finish cooking this sausage and get everybody's, everybody, me and Doug, our breakfast so we can continue doing what we're doing. We're not doing a lot today because it's a snow day. So I'm just gonna work on recipes and stuff like that. Doug has a little schoolwork to do and some things he wants to do around the house. So should be a very relaxing day for us. Um, the boys did not get snow. They got a dusting, a little dusting down there. Um, and they had a track meet today at George Mason University. They're both there. Andrew's van left at 6.30, Adam's bus left at 7.30. The runners don't have to be there till later, a little bit later. But we, I would have loved to have gone like last night um, and stayed overnight, watched the track meet, but no spectators. And I really would have felt bad having somebody come over to take care of the chickens in the snow, especially with them acting up and not coming out of the coop. So good thing that we didn't go, I guess. But like I said, not allowing spectators indoors anyway. So hopefully they'll update me. They'll text me. They'll let me know how they did. So that's it. I'm going to go get this dinner. Dinner. Breakfast cooked. Okay, breakfast is done. I have a sourdough English muffin. This is a really tiny little one, so I'm going to count it for two points instead of three. Two eggs over light, or dippy eggs as we call them, for zero points for me on personal points. And then I have a three-ounce turkey apple sausage. I have to look that up in the app. We get them from an Amish butcher, so I don't really have, like, there's no barcode to scan or anything. But I'm pretty sure... There's some generic ones in the app and I'll just look that up and see what it says. So we are having chicken Italiano sandwiches for dinner and I needed a marinade to marinate the chicken in and I used to use the McCormick's garlic and herb marinade packet and I had none and the store had none and I figured, you know what, I'm sure I can make my own. So this is a third cup of white wine, three tablespoons of white wine vinegar and some dried minced onion about a tablespoon tablespoon of olive oil two teaspoons of sugar a tablespoon of minced garlic a tablespoon of dry mustard a teaspoon of oregano a teaspoon of basil a teaspoon of tarragon half a teaspoon of salt and a little bit of pepper so I am just going to put my chicken in there and let it marinate all afternoon. Okay, taking a break from filming a couple videos to have some lunch. Checked on the chickens. They are all outside now. They won't get near the snow. Now, like I said, there's a dusting in there. They won't get near it. They're standing on, all huddled together on the one like clear spot of dirt. It's hysterical. But hey, at least they're outside now. And it's you know, not too horrible out. So, but it did stop snowing. So we are gonna eat our lunch and we are gonna get outside and start shoveling out. I'll turn you around and show you what I'm having. I am having a bowl of chicken orzo soup that I made a couple days ago. It's getting ready for the freezer, but I thought I'd have a bowl before I did that. Um, it is zero points for me on my personal points. It is just some bone broth that I had made the other day. Carrots, celery, and whole wheat orzo. So for me on personal points, it is zero. And I'm also finishing up a cup of tea. Doug is having leftovers from the other night. It was the Dijon mushroom beef. It was absolutely delicious. It is on my website and I'll link it below. I highly recommend it. It came together in 15 minutes and truly a restaurant quality dish. Really, really good. Yes. It is all done snowing, so now the cleanup begins. Oh, by the way, we got a new car. Um, you know, we were looking for one since both the boys' cars kind of bit the dust. You can't see it now. <laughs> but it is a Mazda 3 Sport Coupe, I think it's called. Um, I think Doug is going to keep that. I think Adam's going to get the Honda, and we are now in search for a car for Andrew. We're looking for a five-speed manual transmission SUV type for him. So, we're happy to have another car in the driveway. 
Okay, it is dinner time. And for dinner tonight, we have chicken Italiano sandwiches. It is chicken marinated in the garlic and wine marinade, grilled. And then it has roasted red peppers on it. And usually we use provolone, but we're out of provolone, so we use mozzarella cheese. And it is just 1.4 the cheese for the chicken, because the chicken is a zero point food for me and everything else. The bun is five points. This is one of the homemade buns I made today. You'll see a video on that probably on Monday. Um, what else? So six points for my sandwich and then homemade French fries. These are zero points for me. So that is my dinner tonight. Ooh, the sun is bright this morning. I don't even know if you can see me because I can't see my screen. Good Sunday morning. I never even closed out last night. It was just a crazy day and just trying to edit and upload and yeah. Um, where did we leave off? Dinner. You saw our dinner and that was it last night, right? We didn't have anything else. Right. right. Yep. Nothing else last night. So it was a really pretty low point day for me, um, which is fine was satisfied and satiated. I ate three wonderful meals, so all good on that front. Today we are heading, we are on our way to church right now, and the roads are pretty clear. You said the one road was a little icy, a couple icy patches where there was open fields, but um, for the most part, the roads are very clear, which is good. We only ended up getting about six inches of snow, so not too bad, easy to easy to clean up. It was pretty and all that, but now it can go away. It can just melt and, and be gone because now is when it gets yucky, you know? It's like all dirty from everybody driving and it gets melty and then freezes and all that fun stuff. Um, the chickens did make their way out yesterday somewhere like what, around three o'clock? Yeah. They decided to venture out, but they would not leave like the little area where their food and water is, they wouldn't go into the run where all their toys are. Nope, nope. Same thing this morning. They did come out, but they wouldn't go over into the run area. So they are funny little creatures. Um, still waiting to hear from Andrew this morning, but I think we are going to take a ride down to the boys' school. Andrew needs his suit. I think I mentioned this um, for senior portraits. He didn't know, so he didn't take it back. So I think we're going to take a run down there and take his suit to him and probably take them out to lunch. Will be our last uh, eat out meal before my February no eat out challenge that I'm doing. So yeah. Um, and then we'll just turn around and come right home. I don't want to be gone real long. Uh, I just, I have things I want to get done, things I want to do, and I just don't want to be out all day. And I mean, it's a two and a half hour drive there and a two and a half hour drive back, so that's five hours. If we spend an hour with them having lunch, we're up to six hours, so. I don't even think I'll have Doug stop at the Goodwill. Wow. I know. We'll see. We'll see what, what you know, time-wise. Now, they did not get, they only got a little dusting of snow at the school. So, we don't have to worry about, you know, bad roads or anything there. So, that is it. You are caught up. We are heading to church. And I don't even know if we're going to eat breakfast, to be honest with you. We may just come home, get changed, and, like, jump in the car and go. Because, like I said, we want to get there and get back. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, we are on the road to Maryland. Actually, we're sitting in my brother's driveway. We dropped Aria off um, so she could spend the day with her sissy Mia and we wouldn't have to worry about her. Um, we just pretty much ran in, got what we needed, got changed um, and headed out. I didn't want to take the time to cook breakfast so the other day when I was looking for something in the freezer, I found one frozen bagel. I think it was leftover from a time that we got them at like the grocery store or the Amish market. 
So I toasted that up and Doug and I are splitting it. So I took the bottom half because it was really, really thin. And I put about a teaspoon of cream, to, well, I did put a teaspoon of cream cheese on it. I don't know why I say about when I measure. Um, and that is what I'm gonna have for breakfast. Doug has the other half and a banana. And he also has a Cliff Bar. I have an orange and we have some grapes. So that will be breakfast. Not too much, a little bit light because we are going to take the boys out to lunch when we get down there. So I'll have, you know, a lot of points to spend on that. I am going to, we're going to listen to our Bible in a year. Uh, we usually listen to it independently. But since we're captive for two and a half hours, we're going to listen to our Bible in a year together. And then I am going to continue going through those light and tasty books and writing down recipes that pique my interest and also work on next week's menu. So I have a lot to keep me busy for our two and a half hour drive. Just showing you the snow that is around our neighborhood. The roads are still like completely covered. They didn't do a very good job, but they're not horrible. The side streets, back The side streets. All the, the main streets are all fine, but the side streets, although this isn't really technically a side street. This is kind of a main drag, but um, you can see like how it, like there's hardly any snow there, but like this side is packed and how it drifted and how much the wind was blowing. Um, we got pretty solid snow in our yard, not a lot of drifts, but you know, that's an open farm right there. So it just completely drifted. But now I'm just ready for it to go away. It was pretty. It's here. Goodbye, snow. Hello, flip flops. Mm. Here comes the first piece of my heart. Just waiting on the second piece of my heart. Here comes the second piece of my heart. And this is why I love spending time with my family. <laughs> We just get laughing so hard. <laughs> These guys are goofy. It's perfect. <laughs> well, that was a fantastic visit. Short, but fantastic. These two just make me laugh. They just, they're so funny. And <laughs> they make us laugh and they make us shake our heads a lot. You have to admit they're funny. Oh, yeah. They are so funny. So we had a wonderful lunch. Um, I took a picture. I'll insert it here. I had the, what's it called? Sassy chicken sandwich. It was a grilled chicken breast with two slices of bacon, a slice of Swiss cheese, and some honey mustard, um, mustard on a bun. So I'll figure out the points for that. And... I also got a side of onion rings and I and I shared the rest with the table. Um, it was actually very delicious. The sandwich was really good. Definitely something I'd like to recreate at home. Yeah, so it was juicy. It was really, really good. Um, and the place that we went, it's called Ot, Ot's ha Ot House. They are famous for their crab dip. So we did get a crab dip for the table and I think I had two bites of it. So overall, I think I did really well and that will be it for the night. We will not eat dinner. This was kind of our late lunch, early dinner. We'll probably, if we have anything, it'll be some yogurt or um, some fruit, nothing, you know, nothing mealish. So yeah, Doug, Doug had a grilled turkey sandwich on rye. It was turkey and bacon and Thousand Island. Adam had a buffalo chicken salad and Andrew had a pizza steak, um, like a cheese steak, but pizza steak. So it was very good. The company was even better. We had, just, we just laughed the whole time. We just laughed the whole time. So we are now heading back home. It is 4.30. So we should be home by seven. Um, give or take a half hour. Um, I swore I wasn't stopping at the Goodwill, but Andrew has a list of things he needs at the Goodwill. So, I don't know. I don't, actually, they, they'll probably be closed by the time we drive past there because it is a Sunday. So, we're just going to head home. So, Doug will probably want to stop for a coffee along the way. I know my baby. So, 
I'll talk to you later. Well, my friends, that is another weekend done and dusted. We are home. It is 7.30 and I'm beat. <laughs> so I just am going to, um, I just fed my sourdough. I pulled my sourdough starter out of the fridge this morning, got that fed. I think I want to make some English muffins for my neighbor. Um, so I might try to get that done tomorrow. And then what else? Put the girls to bed. And now I'm going to set up for my week with the babies. I, um, I just like to bring up their high chairs and the diaper bin and things like that. I like to get all that done the night before so it's ready to go in the morning. Just need to do my evening routine, which is quick and easy. And then I think I'm going to get my jammies on get some videos edited and go snuggle down and be done for the night. So thank you so much for spending your time with me this weekend. I love talking to you and truly appreciate the time that you spend with me. I will be back tomorrow with a bake with me video to show you how I make my quick and easy dinner rolls, petite dinner rolls, and sandwich buns. Um, hoping to film a full day of eating, but not quite sure if that's gonna happen. And then Tuesday, I'll see you for a tag, and Wednesday for weigh-in. So I look forward to seeing you all very soon, and have a fantastic rest of the night.